billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. How brave are these men? Happy day, I'm glad. <laughs> and today we are playing Burly Men at Sea. Yeah, I like the idea of Burly Men. I don't like the idea of at sea because it sounds scary. What is this, a bottle, a message in a bottle? And a little twig over here? Can I pull this and see more? It doesn't look like it. I guess I'll just read the message in the bottle. What's going on? This looks like a corporate ad campaign for something. Oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the nets. Oh, it looks like we found a message. Let's see what it says. Why don't we? Is that the message? Useless sea chart, grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. Okay. I was hoping it'd be like, I'm here. I'm watching you. A map cast to sea without purpose? Must be more to it, argues the steady one. So there's a steady one, the hasty one, and what, the bitchy one? I don't remember the other one. The brave one. Ah, the brave one. The brave one brightens. A mystery! Aye! Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Alright, yeah, let's get to the bottom of this mystery. We're boating. The text is going away slowly. We're gonna figure out what's going on. Oh, it's very pretty, very beautiful. We're going back to town. We're gonna figure out what it means. There we go! The Three Stooges are back in town. Okay, here we go. Come on, guys, let's go for a walk. Okay, we gotta talk to this guy over here. He's playing beautiful music. A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs, he must be Canadian too. Can't say I know much about him with these landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have some answers. Okay, so we'll go to the coffee shop. Do you mean this coffee shop or this coffee shop? We'll try this one first because it's in our field of vision. Go in. Is this a coffee shop? Looks kind of trendy, nice stools, fireplace, books. These three burly men are very intimidating, so hopefully people don't get the wrong idea. Ah, ooh, okay, there's the brute. He's also a burly man, lots of burly men in this game. Looks like they're all blowing giant bubbles for beards. You'll be wanting a drink by the fire, I expect. The men cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. He's making our coffee, he's walking up slowly with it. Where is this leading? What are, what are we doing with our lives right now? The old man soon approaches with a steamy tray. Single origin espresso, roast it myself, he declares. They stare blankly, doesn't mean anything to them. He sighs. Coffee. Relaxing, the men sip cautiously, eyes widen, must be the caffeine. Now, what have you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation, that's all. Folks come in with questions and yours is plainly rolled in your hands. Steady Beard grins. Aye, then you are the man that we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them, all lean in. What does it mean? The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm, seems what you have here is the variety of map that brings out adventurous deeds and heroic feats. Aye, Brave Beard leaps from his seat to pound Steady Beard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man. The old man grins at his skeptical look. Aye, it's worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. The map has tales yet to tell. Okay, bye. Thanks for your help. Nice boots. He turns to walk away. Ho oh, there! What sort of tales? Calls Bravebeard. That depends, replies the old man. On what sort you choose! He crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. So we get to choose our own adventure. Okay, I'm down for that. He's gone? Steadybeard coughs awkwardly. <clears throat> Neat, guess we'll be going then. Er, uh, thanks for the suppresso? He tries. There's no answer. My big burly men have to figure out what is going on here. Well, let's go in here. Oh, chickens! Let's ask the cow. Bravebeard sidles over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about adventure, would you, old girl? He pretends not to wait for an answer. What about the chicken? They don't like when I talk to them. Although they like it in between, uh, Hasty Beard's legs. Okay, nothing in here. Off we go. Let's go in here. Ooh, it looks like a lady is in here. I see her apron. Ooh, bakery! Hello. Do you have answers, Miss Old Lady? Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you fellas? Steady Beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Know anything about adventurous deeds, heroic feats? 
Maps, adds brave beard, mystery? The loaf-shaped woman continues working silently for a moment, then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? Afraid I'm not the imaginative type, boys. Oh. We're old friends, the ordinary and I, she concludes, returning to her work. Well, how boring! Well, we're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Ruining all her baked goods. How's this for ordinary? Poking all your goods in the butt. We're leaving. There's gotta be something we can do. Something's chinging. What is it? Hello. Nice sound effects. He's got an anchor on his arm, so he must know what adventure is like. The man glances up at their approach, then returns to his work with a grunt. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shouts Steady Beard. See, we found this map in our nets this morning, and... And do you happen to know anything about the unknown? Or heroic feats and tales and such? Adds Brave Beard, hopefully. There's a brief pause as the man stops hammering. He grunts. They wait. It appears he has nothing further to add. Well, come on. Come on, stupid, talk to me. The men stand waiting, but there's no further response from the blacksmith. Come on! This guy must not like us at all. Is it because we could all kick his ass? Like, why? Alright, maybe there's something in his... in his little house. I steal these. Huh. I like that. Fiddle guy, we're on our last nerve now? The musician nods but continues playing, happily shirking the morning's chores. Okay. Mr. Cow! Let us know! Alright. Let's sail away. We need to figure out- I guess we just need to figure this out by ourselves, because there's no way. There's no way! To figure out what's going on in town! We've gotta figure out ourselves! We're going on an adventure! We're going out to sea, baby. Lots of seagulls. Kinda lonely out here. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has the feel of mischief about it. Mischief away, grins Brave Beard. Okay. Ooh! No, 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 no. Can, can we not? What are we, Pinocchio? It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. Who are these ladies? Oh, there's three of them. You know what that means. Right? Somebody here gon' fuck! Hello, ladies. What's going on? Join us, friends. From whence do you come? Asks one of the nymphs. We were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explains Sturdy Beard. It's really very discouraging. <laughs> A man can't properly have an adventure at sea indoors, adds Brave Beard. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave, advises a second nymph who probably teaches yoga. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Humble goy. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if you'll advise us how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacled one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of the faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly towards what appears to be a hatch. And our ship? She can't fit through that! Fear not, once the great barnacled one reaches the place of promise, he will open wide the gate that all may go out as they came in. His butthole? So either we escape with no ship, or we wait for the creature to open his maw? The nymphs nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the great one's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. What do you- oh, this fire, okay. I get it. Bravebeard's face shows alarm. I think we'd, uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway. But all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love. You must first seek the enlightenment of- Of what? Found it! Interrupts Hasty Beard, grabbing a torch from the fire before them. <laughs> hasty. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. He's not the brave one, but I like that he's hasty. Off we go! Thanks for the pep talk, nymphs. The men fidget for a moment as Steady Beard clears his throat. <clears throat> if you don't mind our intrusion, we'll wait here with you fellows. I guess he's calling the girls fellas? Sit, friends. For those who follow the Great One, there is no mind. Aye, that's plain, grins Brave Beard. The three men sit. There's a silence, and the nymphs begin to speak in turn. Within the Great One, there is only to be... Are you guys high? Have you been down here a little too long? The Great One encircles us in the circle of all things. How deep? The Great One's kindness is as... As what? What just happened? 
genetically modified potatoes. The men begin to nod off, now catching only pieces of the nonsensical exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. Biodiversity. Huh? Final stop. Please exit through the front with your belongings. Does that mean we didn't believe? Or does that mean we made it? So we hung out with the ladies, had a little faith in genetically modified potatoes, and now we're off on our way. Those long-haired imps let us sleep through our stop, complains Hasty Beard as they sail out into the sunlight. Brave Beard merely shudders. Ugh. May as well see where it is we have stopped anyway. Where are we at now? I don't think anything can top the, uh, the whale nymphs. They're pretty weird. A bigger place? How far can I go this way? That far. Trees, sticks, mountains. What is this over here? Okay, let's keep going. Who's that up there? Is that a little birdie? Hi, bird! Talk to me! I tried talking to a cow, might as well. Oh. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it. Run! Great lumping land rats, exclaims Bravebeard, edging away. Stop! The voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. The men and rocks stand staring at one another. Moments pass before the creature speaks again. You are small. Something about the naivety of this statement seems to ease the men. You're rather large yourself, tries Bravebeard hesitantly. Thank you, rumbles the small mountain simply. Would you like a flower? I'm quite good at flowers! Oh, we don't want to be a bother, begins Hasty Beard. In fact, but the creature is already turning. Okay. Or maybe I will fetch three! Rumbling happily to itself, the geological oddity thunders away. The men breathe sighs of relief. Can we have a normal day? Maybe the big mountain walked away and there's like a cave he left behind? Doesn't look like it. Should we just... Go? Oh. I have done it! I have fetched a flower! The men turn reluctantly from the enticing safety of their boat to face the returning earthquake. Gently, the massive stone fist places before them what appears to be an upended tree. That's not a flower, you- Why, thank you! Gushes Hasty Beard, elbowing the snickering brave beard. What a nice flower! The big creature beams. Thanks for that. Might as well take it with us. Oh, we just knocked it over. The creature's shoulders slump, dejected. It has wilted! Uh. You know, I think I saw another on the far end of the island, suggests Steady Beard. Why don't you just go, you know? I will fetch it! Brightening, the mountainous being turns once more to thunder away. It's very strange. Or maybe three! Hasty Beard calls after him, grinning. Quick while we have the chance, whispers Hasty Beard, leading the way to the boat. Should we listen to Hasty Beard? Is he hastily getting us out of here? Do we have a choice? We do not. We're getting the hell out of here. I feel bad because the mountain's a really nice guy who's trying to do something nice, but again, should he be uprooting trees? Bye! Sorry about that. It's a nice sunset. Nice and pink out here. Hmm. The sunset turned into what looks like a storm. I don't like the looks nor the sound of that, worry Steady Beard over the distant rumble. Rather be fetching flowers with that walking rock pile on dry ground. The sky was really pretty pink and then it went all dark and now it's pissing rain. Hopefully my burly men will be safe. On cue, a shower of rain tumbles over them. Suffering squid livers, howls Hasty Beard. We'll be sunk! They bail furiously, but the downpour is relentless. Through the eerie gray, they seem to hear the faint keening of wordless song. Is it the storm nymph woman mountain? Is it you again? Mermaids. And there's three of them. You know what that means. Do you know what that means? Uh, no. One for... It means somebody here is gonna fuck. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, okay, I... I... I think there's a, a few too many mermaids. I think we got five at most. They, whoa! A flash of lightning suddenly illuminates their surroundings. Women folk! Yells Bravebeard. There are women folk in the water! 
His shout is followed closely by a splash as Hasty Beard jumps in. Give me some of that! Of all the kelp-headed halfwits, a second splash halts Steady Beard's analysis of the situation. Sighing deeply, he dives after them. Guess I'll go to. <laughs> Finding the dark water empty, the men quickly regret their course of action. Where are the women folk? These three burly men want some women folk. Their burly beards look very nice and voluminous while they're underwater, though, so I'll give them that. Hopefully they're buoyant. They seem to be sinking pretty pretty hard, pretty far. Mermaids! Lots of fishies down here. Ooh. This is turning out to be quite the adventure. Don't get poked! Good boys. We're, we're going to the bottom. Where the sea monsters live, the jellyfish, the planet Earth shit that you hope you'll never see in your life. How deep can these mermaids swim? And how brave are these men? Well met. Well met! <laughs> well met! <laughs> well met, bearded travelers! The voice is deep, musical. <laughs> it's very musical. Look how deeply we go. What is this, a swan? Jelly? Snake? Eel? Er, hello? Stammers brave beard, odd. The absurdity of underwater speech only adds to the wonder apparent on his face. Oh, it's a girl. You've seen much this day. She continues, smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you've not seen all. <laughs> Maybe I should warm up my voice before I do videos. Yet you've not seen all. <laughs> she peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your hearts to seek these paths, another day awaits. You're not singing anymore? No, I haven't warmed up and... It's cringy enough as as it is. <laughs> Hasty Beard clears his throat nervously. <laughs> Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but we've no longer any vessel with which to seek them. Lost at sea, she was. The silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You've traveled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. We may meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. How are we still alive? How are we talking underwater? In the quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking. Where are we going? Look at our cute little feet. Our legs are so skinny compared to our bodies. Ooh. Could probably get a nice catch down here. Nice 40-year-old crabs. Where are we going? It's so serene and pretty. Colors are fading. Are we... Are we back at shore? Kinda looks like it. Where the hell are we? Okay. Hey, toucans. There's something making some weird noises over here. I'm gonna go check out what that is. Maybe some Fruit Loops, eh? There's the kind of bird that set the mountain off. Hey, birdie. Make you fly away, where's the mountain? Not a lot of repetition in this game, it's kinda nice. <gasps> a giant moose. Talk to us, Mr. Moose. Were you the one making that noise? Is that all you do? Can you offer me anything? Okay, I'll take that as a no. Woo! A house! You get in that house, burly men. This could be where we live now. Go on in. Get some rest. Get some nice dry clothes on. Hey, are we in the coffee shop? Hey! Thought you'd find your way to that door eventually. The old man greets them. The familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I'd bet. The men shake their heads. Still have the map? He questions. Steady Beard nods, silently passing it to him. Oh, look at all the places we found. It was pretty empty before. I see you managed to find those adventurous deeds. And did you meet her? Who? Who do you mean? We met nymphs, mermaids, crazy singing lady. I, Bravebeard, is the first of the brothers to speak. Magnificent she was, like the shorn of old tales. But she told us we'd more to see. Aye, it'll be there when you're ready for another go. The old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours, and all with paths left untrod. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed to a few in my time. You see, he continues, What's left unwritten in one story can fill others. If ye've the inclination to sail again, have another look at the shelf. Burly men at sea, Steadybeard reads aloud. Not a bad title, that. 
But what's all this numerical business on the spine, and how did- He gives them a sly look. That's another mystery, if you've curiosity for it. One last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind telling you now that I was the one who sent your bottle to see. Oh, okay, thanks for that. I have another to be tossed out for the next curious soul. Will you do the honor? Yeah, of course, sure, why not? Lots of crazy shit out there, might as well get other people seeing it too. We can all write books, and we can all become like best-selling authors, New York Times. Eat, Pray, Mermaid. It appears this game has a lot of replay value. Please let me know what you think of this game and this video if you'd like me to make it into a series. If you enjoyed this video, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe to give that gloomy subscribe button a bit of a pick-me-up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!